following the stuff that's been happening with fucking um, YMW Melly. That's been a pretty crazy case to kind of view. Um, I decided to go on a bit of a rabbit hole and kind of view the kind of, you know, get my refresher on the case overall. If you don't know nothing about it, then you'd know that um, essentially this rapper called YMW Melly is on trial currently for killing two of his best friends in a apparent drive-by shooting. He tried to make it look like a drive-by shooting, but they're alleging that he actually, um, you know, was the person behind killing his friends. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I still can't figure out what the motive was because I've been doing my digging and shit and there has been some comment about the two friends that passed away maybe having some sort of disagreement with YMW Melly, right? They had some sort of argument about money or something prior. But the really sad thing about it, if you watch there's a video of the, the night they get shot, basically, I think it's around 2 a.m., they all leave the studio and they're all getting into different cars and shit. Um, and essentially they look all cool and chill nothing's happening like usually when you see these sort of like events they usually um you know they usually sort of preceded by you know fucking fighting or something or arguing before but they just look all chill just some young boys hanging out of each other they all jump into a car and then a couple of hours later two of the people in the car are dead and and it's apparently meant to be a drive-by shooting that's the only thing that's really bizarre about it. Like what actually happened in that car while they were driving around that would draw YNW Melly to fucking shooting his two best friends. I don't really understand it, but I'm going to quickly play a video here courtesy of NBC Miami that kind of gives a bit of an update on what's been going on so far. And then I shall give you a try, a little bit of an update on my end in terms of other things I've actually seen or some thinkings I've actually had as well. The double murder trial for YMW Melly continues to unfold in a courtroom. Prosecutors today putting their final witness on, on the stand. Now, if Melly is found guilty of killing his two friends, he could face the death penalty. NBC6's Nico Clemens has the latest on this case. So the judge sent the jury home about five o'clock today. The prosecution will come back tomorrow, hopefully finish with its final witness. Uh, but this is uh, now a month into the trial. In fact, tomorrow marks one month since opening statements. But today we got a chance to see and hear different cell phone videos. The state says is from the rapper. And we're also seeing text messages that are dated uh, days before the murders. Pussy. This afternoon, more evidence and more testimony in the YNW Melly murder trial. The prosecution spent Tuesday asking a Miramar detective about his investigation into the rapper's cell phone records and videos, and cell phone videos from other people. Did you review those work records? The rapper, whose real name is Jamel Dimmons, is accused of shooting and killing Christopher Thomas Jr. and Anthony Williams in 2018. Dimmons and his co-defendant, Cortland Henry, along with the two victims, made up the rap collective YMW. My name is Melvin, and I'm gonna turn myself in. Investigators said the two victims were in an SUV with Dimmons and Henry after leaving a studio session when they were shot and killed. Police said Dimmons and Henry claimed they were victims of a drive-by shooting, but prosecutors argued that Dimmons was the shooter and killed his friends from the back seat. They have not authenticated one of these messages. They know it. He's not qualified to do that. The prosecutor showed text messages dating months before the murder. Dimmons' defense raised several concerns. And more importantly, this detective has already admitted he's never been declared an expert in any of this. The jury will come back tomorrow. The uh, prosecution says they have about two more hours of, of questions left with their final witness. Then the defense, they will cross-examine uh, the detective. Yeah, so Natasha's asking, I, um, wait, did they kill their bandmates? Yeah, essentially they're in a group, a rap group. And the story, I guess from the prosecution is that the most famous one his name is YNW Melly he's also got a track with Kanye um that's really kind of good and a music video to go with it but they're essentially saying the most famous one down YNW Melly was in the back and he spontaneously I guess shot his two best friends in the car who were sitting in the driver's seat in the passenger seat and then somehow him and the other guy who survived um decided to concoct a story that they were victims of a drive-by shooting
and then that's how they their friends died. But the police are alleging, or the prosecution, I guess, are alleging that no, it was actually YNW Melly that killed his friends, um, for unknown reasons. And the thing that's been really kind of sad to kind of see it play out in real time is that so far there's been no indication that they had any internal beef. No one kind of fucked somebody's girl. Nobody was stealing that much money that would lead to this. Nothing really serious. I've seen some indication about some sort of like 500,000 that they were each owed because YMW Melly signed a deal or something. But I don't think there was anything so far that I've heard that would warrant what's happening. I have seen some alleged stories going around that um, that one of the two people that died may have threatened YMW Melly's mum. Um, and that somehow he didn't say anything about it and he decided to kind of take revenge on it once he kind of seen them in real life and he kind of was isolated with them. But I still don't think they deserve to go out in that way. And a really crazy thing about it is the lack of remorse that you see from YMW Melly, like in the whole entire thing. Like two of his best friends passed away and I think one of the guys, um, I think the guy that's a bit lighter, um, I think he met him in like kindergarten or something. Like they've been friends from when they were like literal children um and so far he showed no real remorse or sadness as to his friend passing away and there's a really damaging video that came out recently of him on the same day i think on the same day i think after the lead shooting happened he's at some sort of video shoot he doesn't look sad he doesn't look remorseful he doesn't look agitated he just looks like a normal guy you would never know he was involved in like a double murder or a double shooting that kind of resulted in the murder of his two of his friends he kind of looks completely normal and the scary thing about it is if you think about it more i think academics mentioned it that essentially if you believe in the prosecutor's defense ymw melly and the other guy ymw bortland i think who the other guy who survived they both had to drive around in a car or sit in a car that contained two of their best friends dead bodies in with that kind of smell, right? In the blood, whatever, the gunpowder, all that sort of stuff. They're kind of to conduct, conduct a plan and an excuse to kind of get out of it while their friend's body was just laying in a fucking car. And then there's another side of the story where they're alleging that they had to kind of, you know, um, shoot the car on the outside with the body still in the car and shit to make sure it looked like a shooting. I don't know. It's just fucking awful. It's a really sad story. Um, hopefully it kind of comes to some sort of conclusion. I think the only thing that's really crazy, I think about this is that um, I've seen is that YMW Melee may get away with it because I think the prosecution are pushing for like first degree or like premeditated murder charges and they're pushing for the death penalty. And I think some people are saying that it's really hard to pin down a motive. So if that's the case, it's hard to kind of, you know, um, get a conviction for um, a guilty conviction for the first degree murder that would go to then death penalty stuff. So maybe they kind of overcharged him in that respect. So he may get away with it that way. That's what they're basically saying I've seen so far. So let's see how it plays out. I'll be really, really surprised if he does get away with it. But if he does, God damn it, mate. And the fact that his name, his actual government name um, is fucking Demons is really crazy <laughs> that his name is demons makes me fucking you know quiver with fucking scaredness like i'm like oh my god this guy's name is what demons okay cool 